Good morning. Our gathering hymn today will be number 524. 524, Bread of Life. 524. Our gathering hymn number 524, Bread of Life. Bread of life, hope of the world, Jesus Christ, our brother, feed us now, give us life, give us Proclaim your death <coughs> as we record your life. We remember your promise to return again. Bread of life over the world, Jesus Christ, our brother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. But dear brethren, in order to worthily celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, 
to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest of And on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith and of our hearts, the homage of their deeds, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon Portico. When people, Peter saw this, he addressed the people. You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us? as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that the murderer be released to you, the author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man, whom you see and know, his name has made strong, and the faith yet that comes through it has given, him, has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leader did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouths of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sin may be wiped away. 
and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration, of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophet from of old. For Moses say, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days. You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, In your offspring all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord, Lord our, our God, God, how wonderful, wonderful your name, name in all the earth. All the earth. O Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord, Lord our God, how wonderful, wonderful your name, name in, all the earth. in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels, and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rules over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord, o Lord our, God, our God, how wonderful, wonderful your name mean, in all the earth. All, the earth. all sheep <clears throat> and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the path of the seas. O Lord, o Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. the Lord has made, let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way, and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that is, myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. As he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that a Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins 
would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Truly, the octave of Easter is for us to celebrate the sacred consequences and the unfolding of the resurrection of our Lord. In our gospel today is the continuation of our gospel yesterday about the road to Emmaus, where the first disciples walk and Jesus appeared to them. Now, in our gospel, is a sort of clarity in all the many things that they have been asking themselves. Well, since the beginning of Jesus' public ministry, he has been questioned of the many things that he does, especially partaking bread and meals with sinners. And now Jesus again invites his disciples and those first disciples who would always have the desire to meet him Though enveloped with fear about his death, he once again appeared to them and partake a meal with them. Jesus sitting at table is not just a simple gesture, but it is a moment of friendship. They partake meals with him in order to show to them that his teaching and presence should always be cherished and always be remembered because when they partake bread and meal with him, they are able to celebrate and put in them his loving presence. It is always day to day that we recreate this very loving presence of Jesus extending himself before us. Each day we're nourished at the table of the Lord in the Eucharist in the same manner that how Jesus would desire to always make sure that his disciples is assured of his loving care. May the power of Christ's resurrection always remind us of his untiring presence and God's desire to always be with us in the rest of our lives. The risen Lord appears to the disciples gathered in a room and gives them this gift of peace. Then he gives them the task of preaching repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Let us now pray that peace may reign in our hearts and in the whole world. Lord, bring your peace to the whole world, still divided by greed and looking for easy gains, wounded by the selfishness which threatens human life and the family, and selfishness that continues in human trafficking, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring your peace to earth, torn apart by the iniquitous exploitation of natural resources. Bring comfort to the victim of natural disasters and make us responsible guardians of creation, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Bring your word of peace to those enslaved by fear, to those in need of comfort, to those kneeling in weakness, and those feeling worthless. We pray. Lord, hear our prayers. May the Virgin Mary help us draw with full hands the gifts of peace and serenity of the risen one and to share them with our brothers and sisters, especially with those who are in most need of comfort and hope. We pray. Lord, hear our prayers. May the souls of all the departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Margaret Laurent, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Silently, we present our petition to the Lord. We pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, through the resurrection of Jesus, your Son, you reconcile the sinful world to yourself. We thank you for your gift of peace and make us instruments. Amen. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 522. 522, Song of the Body of Christ. We come to share a story, we come to break the bread, we come to know a rising from the dead. We come as your people, we come as your own, united with each other, love finds a home. We come to share a story, we come to break the bread. We come to know a rising from the dead. We are called to heal the broken, to be hope for the poor. We are called to heal the hungry at our door. For amity, brethren, my sacrifice and yours is made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously be pleased, the Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn, and in hope of your increased help from heaven, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <clears throat> it is truly right and just our duty, our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord. But in this time of all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with the paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic host sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full. Your glory, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the Holy Lord and the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them. Like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread and giving thanks, broke it, 
gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Barry our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command and form a divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we will be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await a blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Oh, 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that is most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us, may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, our Mass has been offered. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Our sending forth hymn is number 394. 394, <coughs> sing a new song. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song, song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung. Shout with gladness, dance for joy. O oh, come before the Lord. And play for God on glad tambourines, and let your trumpet sound. Sing a new song unto the Lord, let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. Singing Alleluia.